Well, hello there. Now I've got the, on the deluxe there, I've basically turned it into a heritage and I've got the original um, heritage, if you like, saddlebags. And one of the common problems is these damn latches, like, see this one, it comes all the way back, no problem. I can open it, you know, close, pops up. But on the other side, on this side, I push it down and see that it stays down, it won't pop up. So when I close it, it just keeps doing that. So there is an easy fix I'm going to show you. I don't know if I'll be able to fix this one, but I'm going to pull it apart and I'll show you how to do it. And it should be a fairly easy fix. So basically I've got to undo this with a pair of uh, vice grips and the whole thing will just come out. So I'll get back to you when I've got it out. Okay, so here's the barrel here. There's the, that's what held it in. And that goes on there, in there. And that sits on top of the saddlebag. It's just a thin rubber gasket, probably for a bit of waterproofing, that's all. So if we have a look, I'll put it into the light here. There's a couple of mechanisms you can see in this slot here. I'll try and bring it close. There's a slot there, and I think this top one here, this here, I should just be able to push that in with a screwdriver and the barrel should just pop out. So I'll just pull it down there for a sec. I know it's a bit dark, but I might move the light in a bit closer. So, I'm thinking, if I push this in, the barrel should pop out. Hang on a minute. Firstly, I'm going to put the screwdriver under there just to push the lock out. So I've just pushed the lock all the way out by inserting the screwdriver under that. Now that tab there should depress in and I should be able to take the barrel out so that's what I'm going to try and do whether the screwdriver is big enough I'm not sure pushing down oh yeah there we go right pushing down oh, I might need a I might need a fatter screwdriver okay so I've got a fatter screwdriver and I'm pushing down I'm trying to get this barrel out ain't coming not yet come on I'll try this on again Okay, I had to hold it with two hands and put a bit of force in, but that little tab I showed you that was in there, I put the screwdriver on it and just pushed it down, and I had to pull at the same time so the barrel would come out. And there it is, it's just come out. So, uh, so you've got this piece here, there's the barrel, then there's, that's the little latch mechanism and there's a little spring here. Now, oh there's another spring there that probably that goes on there, right? Now what I reckon's happened, see this o-ring here? I reckon that o-ring is what's stopping it from coming out. I reckon it's just gone either swollen, weathered, so I'm going to swap the O-ring out. I was at Audi's the other day and bought an O-ring kit for like 10 bucks. It's got about 200 in it. So we'll see how we go. I'll go and get the O-ring kit. So I think it is the O-ring because when I reverse the barrel and just try and push it back in there, as soon as it comes to the O-ring, it's really, really stiff. 
So what I'll do, I'll try and put a new O-ring on and a bit of rubber grease and we'll see if that makes a difference. So I've got the O-ring kit here. There's a squillion of them in here, so I'll, I'm going to pick out an O-ring out of all this mess and I'll get back to you. So what I've done, I've picked out a small O-ring so I've actually got one that size compared to the size on the left, which is the original one. And the reason I've gone the smaller one is because these are thicker on the right here, I can stretch it and as I stretch it, that'll thin out a little bit and should come to the, about the same thickness as the one in my left hand. So that's what I've done here now. So I've got an O-ring on that. And I'm going to assemble that. I'll put a little bit of rubber grease on it and we'll see how we go. I'll get back to you. So I've got the old uh, rubber grease here. I'm just going to smear a little bit around there. You don't need much. It's, um, it's really just to give it a little bit of, bit of a lubricant. Maybe uh, possibly waterproof it a bit. But uh, that's really all you're doing. You only need a, like a drop like that. So, so that's the rubber grease. Happy with that. So, and basically I'm just going to assemble it. And hopefully we fix the problem if we haven't. If we haven't fixed the problem, the um, other solution is you just take the O-ring out altogether and it will just go up and down. You lose a, a bit of waterproofing properties. But if you're not going to go long haul and then you're not going to ride in the rain that often, it doesn't particularly matter, does it? But we'll see how this one goes. So I can't remember how it come out. So I'm just going to cuff it. There are little guides in here, little channels, which things fit into. So... I'll have a look at it and I'll get back to you. Right, so what'll happen, this, this barrel, this piece here, there's a recess there, so it sits in the barrel. It's just like a tap washer, really. This sits in there. Then what'll happen is I'll insert the barrel into the hole and that can only go in one way. There's a recess there. That piece here goes all the way into the bottom here, which passes into this latch through there. And then the bottom of the latch has a spring, this spring, which goes under there and recesses into a little knob down the bottom there. So this will have to be held in place as I insert the barrel. Pretty fiddly. So that spring will, it's pretty dark I know, but not much I can do. Spring sits in there, there's a recess there somewhere, there's a little knob. I reckon it's about there. So this goes that way like that see that boom boom so I'm just going to hold that in with my thumb and this one can only go in one way there's a recess here there's a recess or there's a built up piece on the bottom here so that's got to go in that way I'll just tip it up so I don't lose the spring and all that uh-huh, okay. It's gonna go in that way. Oh, I see what's, I've got to press that thing in. Oh, I've got to press that arm in. Yeah, there we go. I've got to press that in. Right, push, boom. Do you hear that click? Now check this out, guys. Winner, winner, chicken bloody dinner. Look. Look. 
mate, that's like a 20 cent fix. Do not go and buy a new lock and pay 50 quid, probably 150 bucks for two. It won't be the same, uh, the lock will be different. And that's working fine just by changing the o-ring that's it guys so um that's how to repair your heritage soft tail locks on the uh sort of artificial leather saddlebags please like and subscribe and uh, i hope this helps somebody out bye for now